Could a substance like graphene destroy the industrial use for silver? Well, we're going to talk about graphene in this video, and you don't want to miss this. I'm sure a few of you remember, if you pay attention to my videos, that I've mentioned that something could come along in the future, and it could hurt the silver industry as far as what happens with its uses. If something better comes along that can replace it, it can hurt the physical demand of silver itself. Because silver's demand is, is in part, a lot of it actually, is based off of industrial use. And we know that silver is used in chemical production, mirrors and glass, solar energy components, photographs, x-rays, printing, medical equipment. So as you can see, the coin collecting hobby is only part of the physical demand for silver. So then there's this substance that has been discovered. Now, it's been known about for a long time, but recently technology is allowing for this to be closer to reality in industrial use. So what is graphene? Okay, this is graphena, graphenia, and dot com. It tells you the details of graphene. And it's a single layer, it's a monolayer of carbon atoms, tightly bound in a hexagonal honeycomb lattice. It is an allotrope of carbon in the form of a plane. Now, not going to get into the details of it if you want to come over here and, and read about it. Now, as far as applications are concerned, over here at manchester.ac.uk, it's graphene.manchester. It talks about the applications and graphene is many times stronger than steel yet incredibly lightweight and flexible it is electrically and thermally conductive but also transparent it is the world's first 2d material and is 1 million times thinner than the diameter of a single human hair this is unbelievable the only thing about it this is like sci-fi here but the only thing about it is that for industrial use, it's very difficult to produce. Technology is moving along in that direction. Some of the more progressive ideas is mixing it with concrete when they build a home. I'll show you a video here and I'll actually put a link. This is the truth about graphene. It says, what's the hold up? And it talks about the obstacles they have to surmount to even get this in industrial use, even though it's starting to be used in industrial use. It's already being used in the outside of motorcycle helmets, and there's other applications they're looking into is filters for water because it will kill microbes. I mean, it's the, the actual structure itself lends for that kind of thing. So definitely watch this video. I will put a link in it. It's Matt Farrell. He's actually, there's a really good video on this. I mean, it's unbelievable what this substance is and what it can be and what it can become. And a great conductor of electricity, better than copper. I mean, obviously silver's really good, but you know, silver, if, if this is something that could be used for multi multitudes of applications, not even probably thought of yet. Graphene will conduct electricity better than silver because it can conduct electricity without resistance. And that, I mean, that takes so much less energy. And if, the, if this ever is produced, mass produced for industrial use in our phones and computers and all that, it can replace almost anything that's being used as electronic components. Actually have bendable phones. We go back to the graphene.manchester.ac.uk and we can look at the biomedical industry and the medical industry is really moving forward with this. Uh, composites and coatings. When you look at in the medical industry, it says unique properties allow for groundbreaking biomedical applications, targeted drug delivery, improved brain penetration, do-it-yourself health testing kits, and smart implants. I mean, we're talking some, I mean, this is, like I said, this is a substance that's, that's been in the waiting here. Once they are able to produce this for use, actual home use, uh, it's talking about for coatings, which is, it's already being used for that. Energy, it says, imagine fully charging a smartphone in seconds or an electric car in minutes. That's the power of graphene. I mean, membranes, imagine clean drinking water for millions of people living in developing countries. The development of graphene based membranes at, at the University of Manchester brings that possibility closer. 
their sensors. The electronics, here we go, electronics. We can go in and talk about all of the things that graphene can be used for and, and it's wearable technology, graphene transistors, graphene semiconductors. I mean, it's here. If this, in the next 10, 20 years, is used in industry more and more and more in electronics, I can see it hurting silver. I can see this replacing some things and I'm not saying that it will hurt the value of silver completely because there's always going to be that physical demand, but the industrial demand, it can hurt it. I can see that happening. This substance is amazing. You know, I read about it, you know, a while back, I think, I don't know, in popular mechanics, I forget when, when it was, maybe it was in one of those magazines there, but I can tell you now this is coming and it, you know, as time goes on here with technology, it's becoming more and more apparent this is going to happen. A lot of this is going to happen. Some of it may never happen. You just never know with, with technologies. Someone may come along and discover something better than this and just completely blow everything out of the water. I mean, it's, it's even something more uh, revolutionary than cell phones. I mean, who knows? So thanks for watching my latest video. And like I said, I'm not trying to panic anybody, you know, it's, as far as that's concerned. This is slow in the coming. We're talking, you know, maybe another 10 years down the road, maybe five, who knows? So if you'd like to support this channel and my little coin shop here in Portsmouth, Ohio, come over to PortsmouthCoinShop.com and check out all the coins that we have for sale. We have a wide variety. So come over to PortsmouthCoinShop.com and check it out. Please hit the sub button if you like this video. Also hit the bell if you want all notifications. And have a great day.